Hey everyone, welcome back to Automation. So in the last video I made this really sick van and not that many people actually saw that video. So go see that video before you see this one because this time I'm going to transform it into one of these extreme Japanese vans because I don't know, I, I just really like them. <laughs> I've also made this uh, Butsuku car. I, I'm not pronouncing that right, but uh, in the past I've sort of done this style is what I'm trying to say. So I'm going to attempt to make my own version, uh, kind of based off these two pictures I have here. Now I am using the original version of this van, don't worry I did save it just in case. Just in case. Uh, but I need to go back to the chassis because it's just simply not going to work. I want this thing to be way lower than it is so I'm actually just going to switch it to double wishbone on both the front and the back. And in terms of the engine, I don't think I actually need to change anything at all. It's, it's literally just going to stay the same because the power plant doesn't matter, it's the outside that matters. So yeah, skipping through the engine entirely, nothing is changing. 220 horsepower V8, uh, nothing to bat your eyes at because this is 1982, don't forget. And yeah, that's going to be good enough. This is not exactly a racing machine. Uh, however, I am thinking, should we add windows? Is that actually necessary? Ah, uh, you know what? No windows. We don't need those. On to the rest of the car here. Uh, so paint is extremely important, but before I get too far, I need to cut off some of these fixtures, like quite a few of them. The old save the trees thing, that's gone. <laughs> Slowly but surely, I'm gonna have to erase all of this other stuff. And with that cleared off, it's time to clear off the wood paneling. Believe me, I'm sad about this. I spent a ridiculous amount of time putting that on there. But wood paneling does not exactly fit with this fluorescent orange that we're working with here. Very rare that I just go around and start deleting stuff off of cars that I've made in the past, but uh, it's kind of nice. <laughs> I'm basically cleaning it up. It's going to turn into a work van now. We're losing that uh, American van charm and we're getting down to the basics. Okay, the van has been stripped. Uh, I think this window can probably go. I know that. Well, okay, it's basically just a work van now, isn't it? I've just I've just reverted it to work van status. I probably could have just put this thing in the video and that would have been good. <laughs> However, uh, skipping down to the suspension, this is very, very critical. It's got to go all the way down. It's slammed now, boys. <laughs> and a race preset too. And then back down. We want that little bit of camber. I'll come back and adjust all this later, of course. But I think it's time that I wide-bodied this thing because what better to add other than extremely wide fenders to your van <laughs> at least that's what these people are saying and oh well there's a significant chin thing here going on so i guess i'll just have to make that myself although so what the heck happened here <laughs> what on earth is that uh, i'm actually going to retain the stock fixtures here um, just to keep it looking sort of similar, so I'll have to fix that too. Okay, so the van is being stripped down to its bare form here. I'm just taking off all the stuff that we're not going to need. And I'm actually thinking I might take out the back window too. We'll just cover it up with stuff. Uh, and then door handles on the back, probably don't need that. Uh, we'll keep the front ones stock just to look like that. And then the interior is going to need a makeover as well, but... The basic like front end shape can stay, it's just everything else is going to need to change. <laughs> everything else. Before I go too far, I'm going to extend these wheels as much as I can. I really like seeing like the, uh, the way that the wheels are going to look before I do the car, just so I can kind of base the car around the wheel look. That's a, I guess, a trick for those of you who are trying to build these kind of things. It just, it seems better that way, just in my uh, own experience. Back over to the fixtures, uh, we're going to need some wheels, and they have to be very good wheels, <laughs> because otherwise, uh, well, it's got to match the theme. I'm thinking some kind of spokes, though. We need spokes. And then, of course, they need to be way, way too big. That's looking pretty good. 17s on a van, that's not something you would normally see, but... Uh, yeah, I can't complain, that looks pretty sweet. <laughs> okay, I've been mildly procrastinating for a couple of minutes here, but I think that it's time that I uh, tried to do more with this. Specifically the paint, <laughs> that's very, very important. I gotta get the paint done before I get too far in. So the car is currently white, I painted it that way for the thumbnail because uh, I didn't really like the yellow, <laughs> but I really want to just make it entirely orange, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna change the entire color to orange. Why not? Oh yeah, no, it's looking better already. <laughs> okay, let me go back here. No gas cap, and we'll just pretend that it's part of the bodywork. And uh, yeah, this, this is a direct improvement. <laughs> the van is much, much nicer looking, immediately. 
So a few weeks back, I mentioned in my 2020 wrap-up video that I have glasses and that I'm going blind. Well, it seems like BenQ took me seriously because they offered to send me their screen bar monitor light to try. Quite obviously, this isn't going to fix my eyes, but it's clear that my previous lighting setup is far from ideal. It's sleek and fits on the top of my monitor nicely, even though it's got pretty thin bezels. Initially, I was worried that the light would bleed into the screen, but thankfully it doesn't, you just have to tilt it away. It has a few different color settings to get the mood just right for whatever application you're using it for, and it just looks good. Here's my setup before, and here it is after. If you're interested, the links are in the description below. Thank you to BenQ for caring about my eyes and my setup aesthetic. Now back to whatever the heck this thing is. I'm gonna start at the front because that's a good place to start, but also because uh, we have the Super GT kit, and we have a lot of other pieces that can go on with it, um, and I think that that's going to be extremely valuable in this little build here. It's not exactly little anymore, is it? Or at least it won't be in a couple of minutes when I put a massive chin on this lad. Okay, alright, getting somewhere. I've used these before, and it's because I really like them, uh, so I'm going to continue to use them, <laughs> but basically I'm just cutting out a lot of the body here to... Uh, to add in some wide body features, all of them in orange of course, it's gotta be orange. Now these vans tend to have very smooth fender lines, uh, the ones that are on here are not bad, especially on the front, but I do want to do a little bit more. I know I said I'd start on the front, but then I kind of got distracted with these fenders on the side, and now here I am doing the entire side first. I mean that's just how it goes sometimes. So the best part about 3D fixture placement is I can stick stuff way out the back and uh, actually have it be useful. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to be using that for. However, I do have some interesting back fenders for you. I'm unsure about them myself, mostly because of this crossover piece, but it kind of adds to it actually. I, I just need to find something to fill in this gap. Same issue I had last time. There's really nothing that kind of has a, uh, a bend like this, but also is flat like that, so I'm going to have to do some work there, but overall it's turning out okay. Alright, there's some sort of side pieces done. I've definitely got some work to do on the back because, uh, yeah, all this stuff is just hanging out now. <laughs> I got, I'm basically going to cover up this entire back end, so whatever I do back here doesn't really matter. I'm kind of basing it off of that second picture, the one with all the lights and stuff, so yeah, we'll see how that goes. But for now, that's looking pretty clean. Uh, I just got to do the front end now, and yes, there is an intercooler sticking out of here. No, it does not do anything. <laughs> okay, so just ignore the back for now because I think it's time that I added some stuff to the front finally after saying that I would add stuff to the front like... How long ago? F uh, 10 minutes ago? <laughs> I don't know how long it's gonna be once I finish editing this, but... Either way, uh... Oh no, I'm distracted again. Uh-oh. I gotta add these, come on. <laughs> we need some back wheel covers, don't we? That's just too cool. Like, these trucks are all about ridiculous design expression and, uh... That is very much up my alley, because I love this kind of thing. <laughs> oh man, I'm going to really enjoy this, hopefully. Once it's finished, at least, it'll be um, probably one of my worst creations ever. Yeah, good luck changing that tire. Uh, that's, I mean, it's just not going to happen. <laughs> okay, okay, finally front end. I will do something here. Uh, maybe not. Hold on a minute. Okay, this might not fit the style quite right, but I really just feel like I want to do it, uh, so that's what I'm doing. Obviously, this is my own design. It's not 100% based on these other creations, so I'm I'm just uh, taking my own artistic, <laughs> artistic uh, inspiration from them, but also artistic choices. Oh yeah, we got some intakes on the side. This is gonna be good. <laughs> I don't know, the front fender is already a really nice fitment, so I don't want to destroy them, but I do want to add just a little bit more flair. Flair is kind of the point of this. <laughs> the point of these vans entirely is just more flair. How much more can I add before it gets bad? That's the real question. So in response to myself doing that, I think I kind of owe it to myself to do this as well, so... Yeah, I'm just gonna put on one of these real quick and hope for the best. <laughs> Always duplicating things. Okay, so we have our start of a bad fender system going on here, but I feel like I can make it way, way worse. And in order to do that, I'm probably going to need to use bumper bars, so I'm going to quickly go on over there. So these are supposed to be lights, but I was thinking about just kind of using them completely incorrectly and uh, flipping them around uh, for use as a chin spoiler. Let me see if that's going to look okay. <laughs> you can kind of see the... Uh, 
method to this madness right here. I just have to connect them up somehow. <laughs> it looks like... Oh my goodness. What is this? <laughs> okay, so while I'm thinking about this and how terrible it is, uh, these Japanese vans don't have like front ends like this. They're basically flat nose vans. So that means that this style already is radically different than what they would be. Uh, I mean, as you can see from the pictures before, but the thing is that I've got to do something with this front end, otherwise it's just gonna not look quite right. It'll just be empty and bland, and right now it is anything but that. <laughs> I really- hold on a minute though, I need to widen these. They just have to be way, way too big. If the front end isn't scraping on the ground by the end of this, then I've done something wrong. But I just feel like some of these hood scoops and things would just be perfect with this kind of setup. And also this exhaust, yeah, that's not going to work anymore because I'm going hood exit. <laughs> oh yeah, we've got eight cylinders, so let's use them all right out the hood. Uh, this is going to be Mad Max style. Isn't that just beautiful? It looks like angelic wings. That is majestic. <laughs> I think I need to add something else in there. Oh man, I need to have like PNGs of the Bugo to put on cars, like this would be the perfect time. This is the Bugo bus, it reigns supreme here in the lands of Valhalla. But yeah, that's um, interesting. The front end is not quite ready yet, as you can likely tell. I need to do a bit more work on there, specifically when it comes to the point at the end of this. I really wanted it to come to a point, and that is proving to be uh, difficult. <laughs> Let me show you what I'm trying to do here. This might go down in history as one of the most jank front ends I have personally ever created, uh, but I'm kind of okay with that. Oh, you know what? Hold on a minute. I'm getting rid of these. We're just using this. It's just infinitely better already. Just too good. We need that rectangular uh, angle there. Like, those sharp angles work way better with this car. Okay, that's a little bit better. It's way, way too big. Uh, just a... Just a little bit too big. <laughs> I'm gonna have to adjust it slowly as I work here, but I think it's coming out decent. Like the whole car as a whole, just very slight movements, that's that's fine right there, is coming out nice. But yeah, I think that front end is uh it is fully finished for now. I'll have to come back to that later and see what's going on. The van isn't actually that crazy yet. There's there's just something missing. <laughs> so I'm on to the back. I've done a little bit here. I covered up the back windows and I uh, added a couple wings to it. Just um, These are wings off of the wings tab, but I really like them, so I'm using those. Uh, but I think I need to do a bit more with the back end, and here's where we need to make some decisions. How crazy do I want to go? Do I want to have big dragon wings coming off the side of this car, or do I want to keep it relatively simple? And I think you know the answer is dragon wings. It's always dragon wings. So one of the things I've been thinking about is adding one of these spoilers here, uh, or I guess they're lips, uh, to the top of the van, because as you would suspect, yeah, it needs one. It really does need one. I've got to warn you that I don't think that this van is actually going to look great by the end of it. I kind of go in with that thinking a lot of the time whenever I'm building this stuff like, yeah, you know what, it's probably not going to turn out that great, but I'll just uh, keep going anyways. Sometimes it turns out good, and then other times I'm like, wow, that is, uh, whew, <laughs> interesting. <laughs> and I just like to take you guys along for the ride no matter what happens, so... Here we go, as I attempt to add more to the back of the van and uh, inevitably to the top of the van, um, please bear with me as some of these iterations might not be so great. <laughs> oh jeez, oh yeah, we also have to add real exhaust because this is just fake, so I'm adding one of these uh, big splitter things at the back and I'm just going to paint it orange, and then we'll put some real exhaust on there. I think it's gotten to a bit of a point with my videos where things are so escalated in terms of design, it's like I expect a lot more from myself. Not saying that's a bad thing though, but uh, yeah, there's still a lot left for me to do. Guys, I have a small confession to make. I did actually modify the engine. It makes four more horsepower because I cut off all the exhaust. <laughs> it's dual now, and yeah, it has no mufflers um, because they aren't really doing anything anyway, so I just figured I'd just kind of slice them off and make this thing into a bit more of a hot rod. <laughs> Hopefully you don't mind. Alright, so to start off our gigantic dragon wings, I am actually having a lot of internal issues about it, like what should I do? <laughs> 
because there's a lot of places I could start. There are a lot of different fixtures that you could use for something like this, including spoilers and lips and things like that, or just go all the way over to wings and pick something out, but I don't know. There, there's a lot that you can do with this. Thank you, Lord, for 3D fixture placement, otherwise this kind of stuff would not be possible. And also, I should probably add back some mirrors. I wanted to add some just totally ridiculous ones, and then I saw these, <laughs> and I, got, I admit I got a little bit too excited. They're terrible. So it kind of looks like it has two Batmans sticking out of the roof of it now. Don't worry about that, I'll uh, fix that. TM? <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm just starting on these dragon wing things, that's what I'm calling them. I don't know what they actually are, or what they're supposed to represent, but I'm trying my best here to not make it too bad. And <laughs> I'm really struggling. These guys have a total art form going on, this is not easy stuff. Okay, so uh, the way I would describe the way that it currently looks is that it mildly resembles a car that has a bun. I'm talking like the hair that people with longer hair have. Uh, <laughs> that's exactly what it looks like to me. But I don't hate it, it's really weird. It's almost like it's got a chicken like tail on it. I don't know what, if there's an actual word for that or not, but that's kind of what it looks like to me. I, uh, I don't know. I'm just slowly tweaking it over and over again, just trying to come up with different ideas and little little different nuances and stuff. It's only three pieces, actually six pieces so far, um, but I'm just kind of, oh, <laughs> working with them and sometimes they don't want to work. <laughs> but overall though, it's coming together pretty easily. I'm, uh, I'm shocked. And there's what it looks like from the back. That's quite commanding a view there. A little bit dangerous. Uh, I wish I had points. That's um, one thing I need to find somewhere. By points, I mean triangles. Uh, I probably should have just said triangles. You know, sometimes words uh, escape me. That's actually happening quite often these days. I don't know what to say about some of these builds. I'm kind of curious if this thing is just going to have ridiculous downforce. <laughs> probably not. But those pieces, though, uh, it might, actually. It might. But obviously, that's not it for the top. We need kind of a top end over here as well. And I have a couple more ideas for that. <laughs> Using these pieces. By the way, I figured out how to duplicate. It took me like 15 years to figure this out. But you hold shift and control, and it still works in 3D placement. Who would have thought? Okay, I know that doesn't look particularly good from the side. Uh, I'm, I'm still working on it. I swear I'm still working on it. <laughs> oh, this is getting worse by the millisecond. But I'm just gonna try my best here. Just fill in some of the gaps, that's all I can do. Including this entire side piece. Oh my goodness, it's beautiful. <laughs> it's terrible, but it's so beautiful. I hate it. I love it. It looks like a bird. I don't think I've really captured the spirit of these vans, but I'm trying so hard. I've spent an hour just uh, just trying to get this design right. That top end is definitely uh, controversial. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say about that. I'm really embracing the bird aspect without really trying to here, uh, but I, I kind of love it. <laughs> oh, it's so... Mm, uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I tried, okay. I tried, I tried. I'll keep going. Now obviously the back end is not done yet, it doesn't even have tail lights, so I'm going to quickly add some. Uh, I have a couple ideas for these, <laughs> particularly um, not necessarily using the modular ones, but I want to use some that are just extremely long for no reason. And these nuclear ones are hilarious too. Uh, okay, let's go with these. I'm really unintentionally embracing this bird aspect, uh, again, <laughs> because... Uh, the back end just the lights just make it look even more like a bird. <laughs> I don't even know how I did this The side is so tame compared to the rest of it. It's just absolutely crazy all over the place except for there But you know what? I'm gonna just I'm gonna embrace it. We just we just have to There's a reason that this thing is the called looking like a bird and that's because it was themed like a bird <laughs> There's the symbol right there to prove it. Just make that a little bit bigger and BAM <laughs> It's symbolic now Oh yeah, I darkened up the windows because they're kind of cut off by these very large pieces that go inside of them. <laughs> I didn't want to get rid of that because they're kind of necessary for the blocking of this entire like setup here, otherwise it doesn't look right. So yeah, we have an interior, but it's not really, well, <laughs> not really visible. Not very useful either. 
Okay, so the game just crashed as I was attempting to put another piece on the car, and I've kind of gotten paranoid now about the game crashing because of how much stuff is going on. <laughs> so I think I might actually just leave it right here for now. Um, and I say for now because it's very possible that in the future I might come back and retouch this thing up. If you guys like it enough, then please give me your suggestions on what I should do to this van. I've called it the Bird Venanza. Uh, I, I like van puns. <laughs> so yeah, it's going to hopefully become a, uh, a relic of time and also something that will hopefully not fly away when we get it in the beam. I think pretty much every fixture is going to explode, as you can see. Uh, it's currently got way too much downforce. Way, way too much. I wonder why. On to the drivetrain now, not much has to change here. This was very much a design exercise. I wasn't expecting to need to change much, so. So we're still going rear wheel drive, automatic, three speed. Uh, I think, well, my top speed is lowered significantly because of all this downforce. Uh, so we'll have to come back and work with all this in a second. Let's see what's going on there in downforce. Something must have changed. Okay, apparently the downforce on the rear end is ridiculous and on the front end there's just a little bit. I did actually put just a touch of a, uh, a lip on the front end, so that would be why. I'm gonna turn the rear wing angle all the way down, um, and I hope that helps. Okay, there we go. That took a while, but there we go. We actually have downforce. Top speed has gone back up, and that means the car will hopefully not wheel spin too badly. <laughs> we'll find out. I don't remember what it was that messed this thing up last time. Like, it, it wasn't particularly bad in terms of driving. It's just a van. Like, there, there wasn't much to it. It says, oversteer, dampers are hard, low, ca low capacity is lowered for its cargo volume. Yeah, that's because it's been lowered significantly. I'm going to mess up the suspension in a bit, though. Um, but I think this is good here. On to the wheels. It's currently medium compound. I'm going to change it to be semi-slicks. I know that might not be totally realistic, but it'll, it will give us better grip. That sportiness at 99.9 .9 makes me very happy, by the way. Very, very happy indeed. The van currently has 205s. Uh, we could probably raise those up just a little bit, 225 maybe? What are we looking at on the graphs? Alright, sportiness still at 99.9. .9. I did mess up the wheel size a little bit, but then I changed it back. They don't need to be huge, surprisingly so. Um, I, I mean, this van isn't particularly heavy anyway, so I think we're actually good. <laughs> That's all we need. On to the brakes. I actually already adjusted these, but it seems like things have already changed. Uh, I made them vented discs because I figured that they'd be upgrading this type of thing when they do redo these cars. And uh, yeah, it looks like it was necessary. I'm going to put a bit more of that bias on the front end, though. It seems like we need a touch more on there. And aerodynamics we already messed with. I think that's going to be good. Like, it has brake airflow, it has enough cooling. I think it has enough cooling. <laughs> the uh, interior is currently premium with a premium 8-track. I think that's fine, we'll just leave that. Um, that's thematic enough. And on to this stuff here, standard 60s. I mean, that's fine too. Suspension, though, I do want to change it up just a little bit. I actually want to go air suspension, again with the race preset but lowering it down all the way. I don't know, I just feel like air suspension is a little bit more thematic. Although I'm not sure if that is or not. I mean, I've been to Japan, but I do not know Jap Japanese culture that well. <laughs> the cars in Japan are super cool though. I might have to show you guys some pictures from uh, many, many years ago when I went there. Anyway, I think we got it. That's a 1517 kilo uh, <laughs> Japanese extreme van that kind of looks like a bird. Um, 224.4 horsepower, nice old V8. Uh, yeah. Oh, it's gonna drive so poorly, but who cares? As long as it works, it can go to shows, and that's all it needs to do. So let's try it on beam, see what happens, and uh, see if we can take it off a ramp or two and have it fly. Okay, so before we get into this one, I just want to say, no, not every car that I make this year is going to be orange, and two, I cannot help but realize that I made it look like a bird, but the original intention of this van was to be a chick magnet. How, why does this stuff keep happening to me? <laughs> I've got some great news though, I've got some excellent news for you. Uh, this van is probably the best rear wheel drive vehicle I've ever made in the game because for some reason it just drives so well. So I decided to do a bit of this track and I mean, these tire marks are from this van. Um, 
but it, it's so good, like it's shockingly good. It's hard to describe how good this is because most of the rear wheel drive cars that I make are just terrible and they just wheel spin like mad. Uh, I'm not going to be able to do it any justice in terms of the track, I'm not a, exactly a track driver, but I will take it out for a couple of laps here, not laps, but turns, <laughs> maybe not laps, it's going to, I don't want to be here all day, but yeah, it's not particularly quick, but it does actually handle pretty decently. And for something that barely has any power in terms of race car standards, I mean, it's got 224. That's not much, <laughs> but uh, it's heavy and it uh, still gets around corners pretty easily. Sticky tires are definitely helping. And also the V8 being incredibly loud is probably doing it some favors. I feel like I'm going a lot faster than I am just because of that. Coming up to this corner here, it doesn't have good ABS. Actually, I don't think it even has ABS. So you gotta be really careful with the brakes, but other than that, I mean, it works pretty well. Pretty well indeed. So in terms of looks, um, yeah, it's interesting. It's it's a very weird car. Uh, I, I like the way it looks personally. I mean, I made it, so that makes sense. But if you strip away all of its components, it really is just like a work van with a bit of an extra piece on it. <laughs> That's really about it. What I was trying to do with that top thing was make my own kind of camper shell, but make it uh, triangular because everything on this car is triangular for some reason. Uh, yeah, it wasn't the best idea, but I thought it was not that terrible an idea, and now looking back at it, it uh, doesn't really add much to the build, it just looks weird. That's pretty much it, so I don't know, maybe a future version I'll rip that off and do something else. Other than that though, like... It's pretty decent. I'm pretty darn happy with it. So yeah, builds have been escalating in uh, maybe not necessarily quality, but complexity on this channel. I'm interested to see what you think about that. But uh, as I said before in one of my videos, I want these cars to come back in some manner. I don't want it to just be the end here. Uh, so I am trying to think of some ideas for a challenge to do them all with. Okay, maybe not them all, but some select few for sure. The ones that I think would be fun in the challenge, stuff like this, but maybe not its original version as an example. Oh yeah, I am taking a very unorthodox line on this course, <laughs> and I mean that in the sense of I'm doing the track way wrong, and I also don't know how to drive, so <laughs> here we are, the wombo combo of badness. Those are words I did not ever think would leave my mouth. Okay, I'm starting to think of some other things that this kind of very faintly resembles, and one of them is... Uh, I don't, it kind of looks like Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> I mean, if you just look from the back, it looks like it's something with huge ears. I don't know. So yeah, thank you for watching today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, thank you for sticking around till the end. If you did, I think you probably should subscribe to the channel because you'll enjoy the rest of my content. Most of it's like this, so yeah, lots of, uh, lots of automation stuff, lots of other stuff too. Uh, BeamNG automation combo of the two. Yeah, that, those are my biggest games at this point. <laughs> I'm trying to do other stuff, but you know, I haven't had any good ideas for other games in a while. I know people have been suggesting Space Engineers. I haven't bought it yet. Uh, I still need to kind of learn how to play those types of games before I get into them. And unfortunately, time is uh, getting the best of me. I do not have too much time these days, but I got some other cool stuff coming up. And Lord willing, I may have a project car in the next couple weeks. I've been trying to buy one for a while, and I'm just kind of hopping on different opportunities that I see, so we'll see how that goes. I've got a couple of dream ideas and a couple of uh, more realistic ideas, so <laughs> IRL stuff coming up soon, that's what I'm trying to say. Oh, that's not enough braking. <laughs> okay, that gives me an idea. Before we finish this video off, I gotta crash this thing into something at high speed. I really want to see all the body panels fly off. If you stuck around to the end, this is the kind of bonus you get. Come on, people, let's go, let's go. And uh, uh, it's not gonna quite do it. Let's go all the way to. Oh no, it's not gonna work. But that is. And boom. Okay, that was surprisingly composed. I'm shocked, actually. <laughs> So the top fell off, all of the bottom pieces on the front fell off, and the back is relatively intact. Except for that bumper. It really likes to fly off for some reason. And because I'm me, I got one more for ya. Let's bash the back of this thing into something at high speed, and... Oh. That has no collision. <laughs> okay. Never mind then. Uh, I guess we'll have to do it over here. 
Uh, that was pretty lame. Okay, <laughs> thanks for watching, guys. See you again next time. Oh yeah, I should say before I go, thank you to the BenQ for sponsoring this video. And uh, if you're interested in their stuff, be sure to check out the links in the description. I actually do like this light quite a bit. It's hopefully going to help out my eyes as I'm staring at the screen as often as I am. And uh, to be honest, I need one for my real work. <laughs> oh man, I'm going to need those glasses a lot more than I usually want to. I don't like wearing glasses, but uh, yeah, I got to be better about my eyes. See you again next time. Hey, 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 it's not just BenQ that's sponsoring this video. We also have people from the community who have decided to sponsor me on an ongoing basis. Uh, specifically, Overlord, QT Bear, Terry Williams, The Most Random Person, Jean Valpalms, Paradoxical, GA Pope, Davis Hester, and the German dude, as well as Jug. Thank you again for your support, guys. Um, these guys are the ones who hit the join button, and then the ones who are read out are the $5 tier. Uh, so yeah, thank you guys a lot. See you again next time. And I got some more stuff coming up, like I said. <laughs> Stick around, boys. See you again and again. And again, and again, I'm dying. I'm really dead. Oh my goodness, I'm dead.